guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, hey, what's up? My name's Danielle. Very nice to meet you. And if you do end up liking this video, subscribe down below and join the Dan fam. So today I'm so excited to be filming this video because I am officially on spring break. Yes, I know. It's a pretty exciting thing. And I'm setting sail on a cruise with a few of my friends for a spring break getaway. We're going to Mexico. I love going on cruises. This will be my third cruise, I believe, no, my fourth, my fourth cruise. So needless to say, I've already started packing for my trip and I thought it would be kind of cool if I filmed a video all about what to bring on a cruise or cruise essentials because I know even some of my friends that I'm going on the cruise with, they've been texting me like, hey, I know you've been on a cruise before, like how does this work? Like what should I do for this? Like blah, 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 because cruises are definitely a different kind of experience. They're so fun. It's not for everyone for sure, but I love going on cruises. So I wanted to talk about the things that I always make sure to pack with me when going on a cruise to make your trip a little bit more enjoyable or just a little extra fun. So without further ado, let's get started with this video. So usually on cruise ships, you will have phone service every now and then. So you might get phone service for the first few hours that you're setting sail, but then once you're in the middle of the ocean, you're really not gonna have service. And the cruise ships say that they have Wi-Fi like $5 a day, but like you can never really tell if you're really gonna get it. Cause I mean, you're literally in the middle of the ocean usually. Um, so that's why I like cruises cause it's an excuse to like unplug. And then once you get to your destination or wherever, your little um, excursions are off board. You might be able to get Wi-Fi at a restaurant that you're eating at or whatever it is. But anyways, what I'm trying to say is you're not always gonna have access to social media, which is like kind of good. One of my ideas is to bring magazines or a book that you're reading or like, I know I have to do a book report for my AP Environmental Science class right after spring break. So I'm gonna bring that book and read it while I'm there. Like. It's just great to do while you're tanning or whatever because you literally just can't be on Instagram. Another tip is if you're gonna wanna listen to music, which I know you probably will, because when I'm tanning, I like to listen to music. When I'm getting ready in the morning, I like to listen to music. And I know nowadays we do a lot of streaming of music. So whether it be Apple Music or Spotify or SoundCloud or maybe YouTube, um, make sure to download those songs to your phone prior to the trip. So I have Spotify Premium so you can like save those to your phone so that when you don't have data or you're not on cellular usage, then you can still listen to those songs. So make sure to do that, invest in Spotify Premium or go on good old iTunes and buy some songs so you can just listen from your music library on your phone. But just make sure to do that prior to so that when you're on the trip, you're not like, oh my gosh, where's my music? Because music is a big part of vacation. Next item that I find essential is to bring a crossbody bag. Um, because when you are going offshore, so let's say you get to your destination, let's say your cruise is going to the Bahamas, that's awesome, that's so fun, I'm jealous. Once you get off, you don't want to bring your big backpack, or let's say you have a big tote bag, you want to bring something that you can explore the city or the town around you, explore the villages, or whatever you're doing. Um, I love this bag, it's from Amy Kestenberg. It's this awesome fringe crossbody bag, but it fits enough like I can put my camera in here, sunglasses, wallet, I mean whatever I really want, and I can explore around. I can buy cute little knickknacks to bring back home, but it's a great size and it's just good to have one of these. Or for like at night when you're going to dinner on the cruise. Going along the lines of a bag, definitely for during the day, I'm going to be tanning alongside the pool on the cruise because that's my goal. As you guys can see, I'm very fair skinned. <laughs> um, I'm going to be bringing this big tote bag to put a towel, tanning oil, all my you know pools tanning essentials in. This one's from Lily Pulitzer, it's from their new line. I love it so much, it's got gold elephants on it. Um, but just anything that's super big and you can just fit a ton of stuff in. So along the lines of tanning, these are my two essentials that I just thought I'd mention, even though it's not necessarily cruise specific, I just thought, you know, because when you're on a cruise, let's say you're planning on buying your sunscreen and your tanning oil on the cruise ship, they may only have a few options for you on, in their stores, so make sure to bring your favorite brand or whatever it is. So I have the Hawaiian Tropic Dark Tanning Oil, ooh la la. And then I also love this stuff, this is my second bottle, this is the Maui Babe After Browning Lotion. Um, I got this at Walgreens, I'm so excited they started selling it at drugstores. This has like aloe vera, macadamia nut oil. It says it seals in your tan um, and it's like after you get in from a long day, you put it on um, and it not only soothes your sunburn, but also just makes you feel really good and it's supposed to make your tan last longer. So these are the two things I will be bringing on the cruise. As for makeup, I always like to go a little bit lighter when I'm in the sun a lot. Um, I don't want to wear as much makeup because I, you know, it's just, you're more outside, it's more fresh and natural. So I just purchased the Bobbi Brown BB Cream. I've had it before and I absolutely love it. And it has SPF 35 in it, which I think is great. Um, I just think it's really good to invest in a good um, 
BB cream or tinted moisturizer, CC cream, something of that sort um, to give your skin kind of that dewy, glowy look, but also keeping it protected and a little bit of coverage. And then, um, so yeah, I got this. This is what I'm going to be wearing the whole cruise. Maybe at night, if we do a nice dinner, and I know we're going to be taking flash pictures, I may switch over to my Smashbox. Um, full coverage foundation because this probably won't look great in flash pictures because it does have the SPF in it. Going with the makeup trend, this lip color I'm wearing right now I'm super into. I love this orangey coral lip for spring and summer. So I'm going to be sporting this lip color a lot during the cruise just because I think it's super fun and happy. So this is actually a color from e.l.f. Cosmetics and this is in the color Velvet Rope and it's just like I said a coral orangey color. It can't be more than $5. I think it's like a $3 lipstick. They did send this to me. I was amazed. I was like, oh my gosh, this is so good. So I love this color for spring and summertime, and I think it's really fun for cruise ships too. I just love the whole cruise resort attire. As for clothing and accessories, I think on cruises and just spring break getaways and stuff like that, it's important to always bring sunglasses with you, and I'm sure you guys are already packed your sunglasses for your cruise or your spring break vacation, but I'm really into colorful, reflective sunglasses right now. They're super flattering, they make you look super cool, and they go great with all kinds of bathing suits. So the first pair I have here are these super cool, unique Ray-Bans. Um, and they're like this reflective blue color, but they're like Clubmaster, but like not. I don't really know. They're just so cool. I think these are pretty cool. I don't know. They're just so different, so fun, great for like being on the cruise and being like, yeah, woo, life is good. <laughs> and then I love me some Ray-Ban circle sunglasses. These are the ones with the green lenses. Again, super fun great for when you get off your ship and you're exploring the Bahamas or Mexico. That's where I'm going. Um, but yeah. Yay! I am someone who likes to go to the pool and then go straight to lunch from there. So especially on a cruise, like the, all the restaurants are like right around each other and you might tan and then go somewhere else and then do this because the cruise ships these days have so many cool things to do. You don't just have to go back to your room. So after I'm done tanning, I'm definitely going to want to have a cover up. I want to have a cover up that's like really cute so if we go straight to lunch right after tanning or being in the pool or doing something fun, I can pop this on and it still look really cute. So I just got this at Free People so you can definitely still get it. Um, and at first when I saw it, I thought it was just like a blue dress and I thought it was really cute. And then I tried it on and it's a romper, but it is this light blue color. It's got these, you know, fun flared sleeves and then it's a romper, but you don't see it. It's like you can't tell, but it's awesome because it looks like a short dress, but the romper part keeps your dress from riding up. And then I also wanted to show you guys these super cute sandals that I got from Forever 21 for like under $20. They're super fun. Again, great to just take to the pool or you know whatever I'm doing with that cover up and it looks super cute but then I could just take it all off and get in the pool so it's awesome if you own a GoPro bring your GoPro that's just like such a great opportunity to take super dope um dope why did I just say that GoPro footage whether it's like I know the cruise ship I'm going on has like a water slide so I could like bring this down with the water slide I have this little flotation device in case it falls down or let's say you go zip lining on one of your excursions once you get off at one of the countries you went to I don't know if you do have a GoPro I say bring it like why not that's why you got it to take all these cool adventurous clips so that wraps up today's video I truly enjoyed this video it was helpful for you guys in any sort of way if you are going on a cruise soon or if you just got off of one comment down below I want to know where you went what you did if you had fun. I'm so excited. I love you guys so much and if you want to subscribe you can click right here and if you want to see my last two videos click right there. I love you guys again so much. Make sure to follow me on all my social media linked down below and I'll see you guys next time for my next video. Bye bye.